Hello everyone, welcome back to Real Life. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you to all the subscribers and members. There's plenty of members-only episodes to enjoy and more to come. Your support is appreciated. Today we're taking in the official opening of the Kelowna Floating Bridge on July 18, 1958. Doug Kermode received media accreditation and loaded up his film camera with Kodachrome color stock for the event, capturing this crisp, beautiful color that still stands out 66 years later. Much planning and preparation went into this important event. The crowds and press gathered, waiting patiently along the quiet and empty Harvey Avenue. After this day, Harvey Avenue would never be this quiet again. With RCMP escort, Princess Margaret arrived at the bridge after her stop in Vernon, where she had unveiled the floral clock in Polson Park. She was greeted by civic and provincial officials, including Premier W.A.C. Bennett. Thousands of people gathered on the waterfront grass of Kelowna City Park in the bright sunshine. According to Environment Canada's data, it was a warm, sunny, 30-degree day, perfect weather for such a memorable event. Bunting and flags decorated the park and eastern approach to the bridge. The Okanagan Lake Floating Bridge was built for $7.5 million as a two-lane, 650-meter structure to make the uninterrupted flow of Highway 97 traffic between the west side and Kelowna possible. The third lane was added later. It replaced the much-loved but entirely inadequate ferries that had served for many years. It ushered in growth and development to the Okanagan Valley. With BC's centennial celebrations in full swing, it seemed that this was BC's year, and it certainly was. The mayor, Richard Francis Dick Parkinson, wearing his chain of office and tricorn hat, read the proclamation and Princess Margaret cut the ribbon while Premier Bennett and Provincial Highways Minister Flying Phil Gallardi looked on. With the bridge open, people celebrated by walking its length, admiring the engineering and the view. By evening, traffic would be flowing. A new chapter in BC's history had begun, and the citizens of the Okanagan would never look back. Having outlived its usefulness in the early 2000s, the Okanagan Lake Floating Bridge was replaced in 2008 by the five-lane William R. Bennett Bridge, and the old bridge closed 31 May 2008. It was decommissioned in 2009. Thank you to Dale Kermode for making this footage available. If you're interested in seeing more of the floating bridge in action, including a 1961 visit to the lift span being raised for a passing tugboat and barges, check the back catalog of my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be kind, and we'll see you next time on Real Life.